today I wanted to bring you an Ulta haul. Um, and Ulta was having double points, so I felt really, really stiffy. And I got some things, and I kind of wanted to tell you about them. Um, and kind of bring you my reviews on them later and tell me what you think of them and da-da-da-da. Um, but just going to show you what's out there and show you what I learned. Um, so they were having double points, which is really exciting. And hauls are usually where you just rip them out of the bag, I'll be honest. I painted my nails with one of the colors, so I feel very, very, very bad about that because I know that's not typical haul procedure. Um, but I just, I was like desperate to use it. And in retrospect, it's kind of good because now you get a color swatch. I'm going to get into this haul. I'm going to try to make it short and I'll kind of show you a couple things. Um, so I originally went in there because Urban Decay was having triple points on their liners. And I originally went in there for, um, Perversion and the other new one, the black one. And this Perversion was the black one, I don't know. Um, but what she told me is that the difference between Zero and the new black one, which I think is Perversion or Demolition or something like that, Difference is, the new one is a lot more greasy. The Zero stays really sticky. Not sticky, but it stays put. Um, the new one kind of fades out a little bit more. So if you like a more smoky look and you like it down here, and yes, I am wearing a shirt for those of you who complain that I wear tube tops. Um, but she was explaining that, and I was like, hmm, maybe I won't get it then because I don't really like mine all over the place. So if you guys are thinking of getting that one, be aware of that. Um, then I also got three other colors. I was originally going in for... I don't remember the name. It was the other blue one, but they were out of it. So this is electric, and I'm actually going to swatch these for you. And I think they're about $20 each, but they were triple points, which means you get triple the points if you're like an Ulta point member, which means you get money off your next purchase. Um, so that was exciting, but this is the blue one. And this is electric, and the other one started with an S that I really, really wanted. Uh, but they didn't have it in stock, so I was like, hmm, I can probably go in another time and try to get them. I was also looking for those color tattoos. I did a blog post on them. I've heard really good things about them. I don't know if they're really good or not. But, um, of course they were sold out. So this is Berberon. Berberon. And this is just a plain, kind of brownish color. And this is not the darkest brown, but it's a very, very nice brown. So I thought I'd try it. And this is the last one called Mildew. It's a green, and I actually have this in the eyeshadow, and I love it. It's like the perfect color. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get in the liner because I have the tr shadow transforming potion that turns any eyeshadow into a liner, but it doesn't work that well. So here is Mildew, Electric, and Berberon. And as you guys can see, they are very, very pretty colors. Um, and Urban Decay's pencils are great. What's also good about them is that they set in about five minutes. So these will be waterproof in about five minutes, so you can smudge them out before then. Um, in addition, if you guys are like running amok, here I'll smudge them. You see they're still smudgeable now. If you guys are like running amok, you can actually use these as really, really intense eyeshadows. So they're kind of like multitasking, which I really, really like if you guys have used MAC Shade Sticks. Of course, they're a smaller tip, but they remind me a lot of the texture and consistency of MAC Shade Sticks, only they're waterproof. Um, something else that I got was these, these Dutch treats from OPI. Um, you guys know I love OPI, and OPI was coming out with new nail polishes, so naturally I had to get them. And what's great about these is that it's a lot cheaper than buying the full size, just because the full size are more expensive, and I don't remember how much this one is. Here's receipt. Um, it was only $12.50, and you get four different tester shadows, so it's nice because you can try out all the colors without actually purchasing the big ones. And then, from the actual collection, of course they didn't have all the colors in here, so I picked up three other colors that I just was in love with that I felt that I had to get full size. And I totally lost the nail polish. Cassandra, that's what you get for using things before you haul them. Um, but it was Thanks a Wind Million, and it's this kind of green. It's kind of like a minty green, and I thought this was so cute because it's just, this color has been so in for the season, and it's just freaking fantabulous. Um, and these are actually not my real nails. These are these stick-on ones. I just take these, and then I file them down, and I cut them, and I make them into, like, little artificial nails, and then I can actually take them off and switch them, which is why I have, like, a different manicure every day. But I love these, and then this one is not from the collection. This one is Ski Teal We Drop, but I thought it was just a really cute, fresh color combination. Um, so that's what I got. Um, in addition to Thanks a Wind Million, which I can't find. By the way, these are all from the Holland Collection, which is really cool. Um, I got uh, a la, 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 wooden shoe like to know, like wooden shoe like to know. Um, and this is a really nice brown, and it has a little bit of shimmer in it, which I didn't originally expect. But it has a tad bit of shimmer, and it's just a really nice taupey brown color. Then the next one is... 
Did you ear about Van Gogh? Because Van Gogh cut off his ear. So it's a very, very nice base color. Just a very, very neutral. And I thought that this would be fun for a lot of reasons. Um, I didn't feel like I would use these colors as much, which is why they're great that they're in a shorter one. This is I Have a Herring Problem. Red Lights Ahead Wear. Um, Kiss Me on My Tulips. And pedal faster, Susie. And if you guys don't know about Holland, there are windmills, there are, well, Amsterdam is a big thing, but when you think of Holland, you think of tulips, little old men fishing, windmills. It's just a beautiful place, and it's below sea level, so it's, it's pretty interesting. But those are the nail polishes that I got. And then the very last thing is a perfume, and this one is Dulce & Gabbana Rose the One. And I was debating on this one, um, Dulce & Gabbana the One and Dulce & Gabbana Rose the One. So I got this one, and this is in the smaller size, just so that if I decide to go get the one, I don't feel like I'm wasting my money. Um, but this is a very, very light, airy scent, and it's not nearly as powerful as some of the other ones. So it's a very light floral scent. Um... And I really liked it. So tell me if you guys like this one or the other one better if you've tried it. And if you guys want swatches of these, tell me if you want swatches. Because if you do, I'll put them on the blog. Here's a swatch of Thanks a Windmillion. Um, and then I should do the swatch of these, which I took off. But I love you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed this haul. Be sure to go check out Ulta for double points. Because normally perfume is not on double points. It was on double points. Normally OPI is not on double points. But it was on double points. Um... So I was really, and these were on triple points. So I was like, boo yeah. So I'm going to try to go and see if I can find the color tattoos, but I doubt they're going to be anywhere. So love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this haul. Hope it was short enough, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.